These damn commercials that we watch in my dad's room, they are they are relentless. These motherfuckers. See, I was about to say, doesn't the lady that wants us to get one thing is also trying to sell us gold somewhere else? And it's not the same lady, but she's got like an old white lady beak. You'll notice this with some, um, I don't know, it's a mouth type. It kind of looks like a beak to me. I might be being a total dick, and I apologize. I'm not, I'm not trying to um, make fun of anyone, actually. I'm just pointing out some of the things that I notice in, um, in the reality. We got a jack here, a jack of clubs. Oh, and the kitty cat. What's up? Got that kitty cat. You're underneath there? You trying to hide out? You trying to hide out? So, I just wanted to put, put these dots together. and Maybe... Maybe you'll understand why. Maybe you won't. So, they say that Noah's wife's name was Vesta. And there's a star. You know, because... If the whole world's been flooded, there'd be a story. So, Vesta is played by Jennifer Connelly, who plays opposite David Bowie, who by default is the devil. The Goblin King is the devil. If he's troubling and taking young Jennifer Connelly's baby when she babysits as the Goblin King... He must also be the devil and causing the flood. Not that giant og that rides the, uh, that's crazy. What a weird fuck. Kitty Cat, let me ask you some questions. How you feel about the raccoons? Huh? I see them. You don't know? We, we're not really that good of friends. Well, you, what's up? <laughs> what do you know about the raccoons? Can you They're say? They're an elite group of do they trained you killers. Up? Do, they, do they mess with you at night? Do they try to touch you with their little hands? Those little creepy little hands they got? Little leathery fucking I watch gloves. from afar. They look like little, I try not to get involved. Like little hands. Man, you gotta cross over the anger bridge to come back to the friendship shore. You know, you don't think I know how difficult it is to cross over the anger bridge and get back to friendship shore? You know how fucking rel relevant that is? We all got anger bridge. We all got some bullshit. We get pissed off for no reason at different times. Usually our ego or our pride will make us that way. And... You know, if we don't burn those bridges, we need to take those bridges. We need to take those bridges and reconnect. Not if there's nothing there, obviously. I mean, but if there's reasonable um, heart reasons to do it for, you know, what's right, you know, do it, do it. I hear more people than any other place Deathbed confessions. I wish I wouldn't have worried about such petty bullshit. You know, people that die all say that it's how much they were in love with each of these people. And, you know, suddenly realized how important it was just the connections between the peoples. That's all I'm saying. Remember those connections and keep them clear.